These are animals that have been around for 350 million years, filling every niche on, on the planet, filling those places with their sounds. A world without frogs will be a silent world. The global decline of amphibians is the worst of any single group of vertebrate animals since the dinosaurs. Globally, the situation is dire. Today, frogs face extreme pressure from unprecedented habitat loss, disease and water pollution. Dr. Jean Tarrant is the manager of the Endangered Wildlife Trust's Threatened Amphibian Programme. Her work in South Africa uses endangered frog species as ambassadors for habitat conservation. All need fresh water as part of their life cycle and in order to survive and breed. Jean is working with landowners and school children to increase appreciation of frogs. Why are they important? Because they eat mosquitoes. If we lose frogs, we could expect to have huge outbreaks of flies and mosquitoes, pest insects, things that we don't want around. Ultimately, we're all linked into that ecosystem. If frogs can't survive, then the outlook is bleak for us too. Whitley Award funding will help engage local communities in the protection of their amphibian neighbours. Jean's project will expand efforts to protect 20,000 hectares for threatened frogs across South Africa. Her work will inform an ambitious 10-year conservation strategy for the nation's amphibians. Extensive community engagement is core to the success of our work. The rapid extinction of frogs globally is a wake-up call we can't ignore. By using these tiny creatures as flagships for conservation, we can safeguard vital water sources for our shared planet. Hello, I'm Jean from South Africa, where I'm known as the Frog Lady. If you told me 15 years ago, though, that I'd be accepting an award for a career in frogs, I wouldn't have believed you. In fact, I was quite terrified of them growing up. But I grew up here in the majestic Drakensberg Mountains, where I couldn't help but be inspired by the natural beauty around me. So while frogs might not have been my thing just yet, I've always had a passion for the natural world, a passion that has been hugely inspired also by Sir David Attenborough. So to have a film narrated by him is extremely special. Thank you. So why frogs? I guess they found me. In 2006, I took up a study on the frogs of the very mountains of my childhood. I had no idea what a fascinating and diverse group of creatures they were. But along with this discovery came the realization that they are also the most threatened animals on the planet. An award from Whitley is not just a recognition of my conservation work for frogs, but the urgent need for widespread protection of amphibians around the globe today. I'm excited to report that as a result of the award, we have already discovered 20 new localities for four threatened species, spaces we are working to protect. Thank you, Whitley, for your support of my work, which wouldn't be possible without the diverse and committed team I'm privileged to work with. 